Now another of the instrument is uh, the Ati uh, and Sharari Mukha. Ati Mukha and Sharari Mukha. Ati Mukha and Sharari Mukha, they represent birds which have a, a curved edge, like a curved neck. Right? Now the controversy is in Dhalana, Sharari Mukha is also considered as Kartari. But as Sushudha mentions about the Kartari in a different context, it's not in the list of uh, surgical instruments. Kartari, whether it is a real Caesar as we use now, that's the issue of controversy. More of that controversy we are going to uh, discuss when we go later in the Vranajikisa chapter that where Sushra has mentioned the Kartari for cutting. Vagpata has mentioned Kartari as a separate instrument in addition to the 20. So, commentary of Dalana saying that the Sharari Mukha Shastra itself is a Kartari may not be easily acceptable. Rather, the, I would consider Sharari Mukha and Ati Mukha Shastras are as a, the curved knives, knives which have a curved edges of different varieties of such curved edge knives are now used whenever you need to cut through a, a irregular shaped structures, particularly used in uh, binary tract surgeries. Binary tract surgeries, if you use these kinds of the knives, where the shapes would be of curved nature so that you can access the binary tract easily, common bile duct or maybe the um, even uh, the cystic duct, it can be accessed with this kind of knife where the edge of the knife would be only a portion of the tip. The remaining portion should be the curved handle which can give you an access. And this is based upon the stimulus given by these different types of the kingfisher birds. Kingfisher birds of different species are there. So whether Ati is which of that bird and Sharari Mukha is which of that bird, that kind of uh, uh, confusion would be there. Uh, Dhalana has given the description like Sharari Mukham iti Sharari Dirgha Chanchu Pakshi Visheshaha whereas Ati is Jalavradhani Nama Pakshi Visheshaha and the Sharari Mukha would have Dhavalaskandha Rakta Shishaha it will have a white neck and the red uh, this beak, beak as such so whether which of the species and so on I think we are not going to that level but basically consider this Ati Mukha and Sharari Mukha Shastra as a different curved knives where because of the curvature you will have better access as such. Then the next of the instrument is Antarmukha Shastra. Now Antarmukha Miti Madhyamukha where the edge is covered by some other area and hence it has protection. Particularly we now have a large set of instruments which are called as guarded instruments. It's something like the lancet which is used for uh, bloodletting or uh, uh, pricking the fingers in the laboratory, you use these kinds of lancets where a smooth or a, a blunt uh, tip is covering that instrument, whereas a sharp needle can be moved up and down, and uh, hence you can just uh, adjust the depth of this uh, sharp edge. Either it's a needle or maybe a scalpel, also a blade, also can be used for that. And uh, with this, once you prick the amount of the depth would be predetermined. You see, it cannot penetrate beyond this predetermined area. And once you prick that, the only that uh, predetermined depth is penetrated. And hence, such guarded instruments now are often used in hands of parasitical persons like laboratory technicians, nursing staff, etc. So, in the real operating theater, you may not use a guarded instrument regularly. Uh, unless that idea of guarding the instrument, guarding the instrument are those instruments where the depth of penetration or the injury is predetermined, level of the cutting is predetermined and you may have many sophistications, lots of such sophisticated instruments now are used in endoscopic surgical instruments where the same concept, the concept is the amount of the tissue being cut is predetermined, it's controlled by a surrounding area and such instruments are the Antarmukha Shastra and the and that kind of a technology was developed in that period in uh, Sushura's period that's really wonderful and uh, or a similar instrument and Antarmukha Shastra could be the sickle blade. Sickle blade also is a similar instrument where you will have a sharp edge and the edge will be curved something like a scoop like instrument and advantage is you can, as you use this instrument, the structure which is cut is easily visible and it can be separated from the surrounding area easily. That's the advantage of this kind of uh, the Antarmukha Shastra. 
So that's a one more of the surgical instrument. Then another such guided instrument mentioned by Sushri is a Trikur Chakra. Trikur Chakra also is a guided instrument where there will be a horizontal plate and then there will be three penetrating needles. And again the same issue because the length of the needle is a predetermined, there will be no e extra injury. The needles which are used for vaccination, particularly smallpox vaccination, now in the latest, in the current uh, uh, use of these vaccinations, they use a simple scalpel, whereas uh, a few years back, the needles which were used for vaccination of the smallpox were exactly triple chaga, but only the tissue uh, difference would be instead of the three spikes, in those instruments there are five spikes. A few of the instruments of that kind, a spike instrument used for again vaccinations can be of two spikes. Again, it's the same issue. As you click this, you'll have two bricks and the depth of, depth of the brick is a predetermined. So, such a guarded instrument could be considered as a Trikur Chaka. Sushila has described the same. The Trikur Chaka means Trikur Chaka. Now, whether that spikes are three or five doesn't make much difference. The basic issue is that there is a protection. A protection of an, a possible uncontrolled injury. And hence, such guarded instruments of different sorts are being used even now. And those could be either uh, the Trikur Chaka or the Antar Mukha Shastra. Now, there again in the Trikur Chaka also, the Antar Mukha is one of the features, right? Palehi, Antar Mukha Karehi, Angulehi, Anvitam Tribhi, Ekai Kastam Parase, Esham, Antaram Rihi Samiram. So, the depth of this penetration is considered as, as thick as a Vihi according to Dalanaka Mentri as such. Another of the Shastra is the Kutharika Shastra. Kutharika Shastra is uh, often it, the word Kutharika is translated as AX and it's not really the AX as such. Instead, whenever there is a need for cutting through a, a curved path, curved path or a rounded circular path, that kind of an instrument is used and Kutharika Runtam Syad Syad Ardha Satpangulayatam Palam Ardha Angulayam Godanta Sadusham Samam The tip is at the size of tooth of a cow so it's around 1 to 1.0 cm. These are called as hatches. Now these kinds of instruments are named as hatches where you can have the mechanism of handling this instrument is it's not like as you use the eggs in the routine conditions you do not hit it. Instead keep this sharp edge over the area and then push the handle up or down so that there will be a circular movement. So these kinds of hatches also are used in the dental surgery where the uh, canal in the tooth or uh, uh, when you do the root canal in the tooth uh, uh, treatment for the dental uh, conditions, once the canal is formed, the canal is cleared, the internal surface of the canal is cleared with these kinds of hatches where you can have a circular movements of the sharp edge. So these are the Kutharika Shastra. Then the Brihamukha Shastra is virtually the Prokar and the Kanoda. Now when we have discussed about the Nadi Yantra, we have discussed about that part. The Q is the Nadi Yantra and the Trokar is the Brihamukha Shastra. And the, most of the times when we use now, we use the Trokar and the Kanoda together so that uh, and it's not that it's a, a trocar alone is used and it serves a purpose as well. So, Rehimukha Shastra and the Nadi Yantras of either Rakodara Yantra or the Mudra Vruti Yantra, they are almost the similar instruments, but there are two components. One component is the Yantra and the other is the Shastra. Then Ara is Ara Chanakaranam Shastra. The Ara is a needle used by the uh, leather uh, work, workers who work leathers like uh, and uh, the um, Vagbhata has uh, commented like again further the shape Arahi Astamura Yama Kartavya to Vishamyare Tila Pramanam to Param Dasya Kalim Samahitam Duran Purparinaham Rundam Gopuchasanibam the tip would be having a Gopucha like split as there could be two forms of the Ara one is a hatchet needle or a needle with the a, edge over and this is mainly used for biopsy. Susila has used the Ara Shastra mainly for Anupakonyar Dharanatam. The concept of the biopsy 
taking a tissue to examine the contents of also one of the year. Now when you use this kind of a hatchet needle, a needle with a, a curved uh, tip and a edge notch over that, that notch needle, once you insert it into the lesion and then pull out, some amount of the tissue from within is uh, sticking to this notch and if you examine that, that would be uh, enough to make out whether the lesion has separated or not. So that idea was used by Shushuda. Only the, uh, now we do use large varieties of such tools to make out that the biopsy needles of different sorts, exactly similar shaped biopsy needles also use used now, often in case of soft tissue tumors, or we may now use a needle with a suction, like FNAC, pine needle aspiration, or like the liver biopsy needle, where you will have a two flaps as such, and once you insert in the closed manner, then open the flap, pull out again by closing this so that the tissue is left over. Now you may have lots of other varieties of such techniques. Basic idea of that technology is a, take a sample of the tissue with, by having a minimal access. So lots of such sophistications are there. So uh, you may have uh, around 50 varieties of biopsy needles now are available in the market depending upon the location where they can be used. But in all that, the basic concept is the same, like through a narrow access, you have to reach in and then pull out the tissue with producing minimum injury. And whatever the shapes, the changes in the shape and the technology is uh, to enhance the safety and convenient, make it convenient. All of them then can be now considered as uh, the Ara Shastra. Badisha Shastra is uh, again a hook with a sharp edge. Now Badisha is both Yantra and the Shastra. When it is a blunt hook, uh, hook that's considered as a Badisha uh, Yantra. When it's a sharp hook, it's called as a Badisha Shastra. Most of these sharp hooks now are used in dental surgeries. In the routine surgeries, there will be used a sharp hook. But in dental surgeries, sharp hooks are regularly used uh, for different activities, different sorts of the activities. Danta Shanku is again a, a sharp hook, which is mentioned by Shushura, very specific for the dental surgery. Now in the dental surgery, we use different shapes of the sharp hooks, either sharp hooks with a thick edge or thin edge, so on. And Sushuda has mentioned a Danta Shanku more specifically, which is used for the dental surgery. So whether the Badisha, which we uh, mentioned by Sushuda was used in other surgical process, how it uh, were used to different from what we now use now, that's all the issue of bit high level issue. I think we'll not go into that part. Uh, of course, wherever there is a need to hook a sharp object, you may use a thicker hook, which is considered as Badisha Sastra. And when the axis is lesser, as in case of a tooth cavity, a thinner hook is used, that's a, the Danta Shampo. The Danta Shampo is having the same shape, uh, and Sushura has given the dimensions like Shampo Vacha Mukham Tasya Karyam Ardhangula Ayatam. The length is Ardhangula, and uh, the tip could be either curved or Kundaram Tasya Kartavyam Shastram Vilhim Kartavya. Either it could be straight penetrating tip as such. That's the, the, a similarly, a sharp-edged probe, sharp-tipped probe is considered as a, the Eshani Shastra. Eshani, Gate Hermeshani Shastra, Gandu Padam Mukheshani. The Eshani Yantra or the Eshani Shastra are used. Probes, ideally, whenever there is a blind track, it is better to use a flexible and blunt probe, Gandu Padam Mukha Yantra, which is mentioned in the Eshani Yantra context. But, Occasionally, when you have to penetrate through the rigid area, then a sharp probe is used. When you use a sharp probe, the risks are high because it's a possibility of a blunt injury. And whereas, uh, uh, it's uh, the issue, matter, uh, so we usually prefer to have a blunted probe, but occasionally we do use sharp probes also. Whenever they, you know exactly the lesion, but it's very difficult to penetrate through a blunt probe or a flexible probe, a rigid penetrating probe could be used. Then the suchis are the needles, we are discussing more about the needles when we discuss about the uh, sivana karma later on, where the different types of the needles mentioned by Sushuba are discussed. So we will reserve that discussion of the needles for the consequent chapters about the sivana karma, Shastra karma. Now, further, in the discussion of the Shastras, 
Sushruta has given the details of the functions of the Shastra. Mandalatra, Karapatra, Syatam, Chedane, Lekhane, Mandalatra Shastra and Karapatra Shastra can be used for either cutting or for curating the tissues. Vruddhipatra, Naka Shastra, Mudrika, Uppalapatra, Adhadarani, Chedane, Bhedane, Vruddhipatra, Naka Shastra, etc. instruments could be either for cutting or maybe penetrating it. I think that's what we have discussed with the shapes. Now, the difference between an instrument used for cutting or penetrating would be the dimensions of the edge. So, that's another issue which we will come to that in the next part. Next part of the discussion will come to that. An instrument which is used for cutting should be having a very sharper edge, whereas the same instrument used for penetrating in, picking in, would have a blunter edge. Say, Ruthi Patra can be used for Chetana when the edge is very sharp, whereas when the tip is harder, the same could be used for gather. Suchi, Kushapatra, Ati, Mukha, Sharari, Mukha, Andar, Mukha, Triku, Lani, Visravani. Instruments of the list of the instruments which could be used for Visravana Shastra Dharma. A bit more about that Visravana Shastra Dharma we will be discussing when we discuss the, the Rakta Mokshana chapter later on. Then Kutharika, Vrihamukha, Ara, Vetasatra, Vedhane, Suchi. Suchi could be used for both Visravana as well as Vedhana. As well as Sivana, the other, so Suchi has multiple functions. So Suchi has Sivana, Suchi is even in case of Vedhana, or it could be used for Vistravana. And then Kutharika Vishnu Kashatras are for the Vistravana by Vina section, cutting the beans as Badisham Dandasham Kusha Aharane, the Akhara Aharana Shatram, pulling over the object, the Badisha or Dandasham are used. Yeshan Yeshane. About Aharana again, we will be discussing more about that Aharana Shastra Dharma when we discuss about the when we discuss about the Shastra Dharma in future. Yeshani Yeshane Analomiya. These are the major functions of the surgical instruments.